Cisco Release R13.9 has now reached GA status. This release includes features that improve performance, reduce MIPS, provides new and enhanced functionality, and supports the latest release of the operating system, ZOS 2.1. Topics will give you an overview of all the details of the new release. So you can go in here and see everything that's avail available. ZOS 2.1 support has been added brand new with this release, with R13.9. Prior SISU releases will not support ZOS 2.1, so if you are upgrading to ZOS 2.1, then you must upgrade to SISU R13.9. Our next major enhancement that we have introduced in this release is the SISU library concatenation feature. This allows customers to easily maintain and move forward customizations when upgrading SISU. New site libraries are now available as well as more user library types. The system library type is provided out of the box during installation and, and are the install members. You are not allowed to um, update these members or modify them. You would use the new site libraries that are available with this release so that you can move libraries from the system library to the site library to make your customizations. User libraries can also be used um, for a particular user's needs and is stored in their profile data set. The next new enhancement that we have introduced in this release is support for IDMS monitoring. Once you upgrade to release 13.9, you automatically have this component. It requires that you own CA IDMS performance monitor. There are 19 new commands. The only thing that you need to do is, in our system configuration parameter member, change component IDMS from no to yes. No installation or setup is necessary, and with this feature, you get real-time performance information within SysU for IDMS. Our next new enhancement that we have introduced is SysU's exception alert summary. The alert sum command displays a summarization of current exception alerts for all SysU components. An historical view of the summarized alert status is available for the past 60 minutes. The graph is summarized and updated once every minute. So what you see here is a high-level view of each of the owners, MVS, CICS, and TCP. If we had MQ and IMS on this LPAR, we would also have those. This is also available in cross-system mode. There are four different modes available for this command. So I'm going to show you um, mode owner, which is what you see here. And then there's also owner resource, which allows you to see um, which allows you to see each owner um, with all the resources that are valid for that owner. For instance, for MVS, we have channels, CPU devices. For CICS, we have programs, storage sockets. And TCP, we have communication storage manager. The other mode that you can do is um, instance. And I can do it for a particular owner. So I'm doing instance CICS, and then I can do resource. And that shows me all the resources. And then if I want to drill down further, I can do dynamic storage area alerts. And you can even drill down further from here if you're diagnosing a problem. Our next new enhancement that we have introduced in this release is a significant performance boost, reducing the CPU use to read and write from MBS log streams that we use for historical online viewing. We have reduced the elapsed time to read many records from a log stream. What you're seeing here is the CICS transaction detail log. We have also added filters to easily select records from the log. So what I can do here is I can um, say um, I want to change the number of lines to 50,000 lines. I can um, say to start from a particular date and time. I can say that I only want records from CICS RGN2 and I only want to see transactions CSAC. So if I hit enter there and I hit P of 3, that tells SysView to read the log stream and only give me those records. This um, enhancement allows you to read up to 5 million lines in one request, which is uh, very, very fast in this release. SysView has used some major um, innovations in, in buffering of the log stream data. So this has been an overview of the most significant enhancements for this release. There are many more as well.
please refer to the Topics command for additional features and commands that have been added for this release. Thank you so much.